Hey Tinge Boy, welcome back once again to Magical Crystals and on to hopefully the last time I will ever have to enter this ghost house again. So, you may all know or remember from episode, I think, 11, it is I freaking hate this ghost house. It is very, very poorly made. Mainly because of the blocks that you cannot tell are real or fake. And I guess this wants you to go this way instead of the way I was doing it originally, which was jumping on Boo's heads. But yeah. This is... This is... Uh, a house. A ghost house. I'm very bitter about it. It is... It's it's a thing that exists. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. It's not made that well in retrospect of the game. And really, it, it takes away from the game as a whole. It really does. And I, I hate saying that about levels that obviously had a lot of time and energy put into them. But at the same time, if the player has a very, very bad experience, then you're not going to have a good level. That's just, that's really all it comes down to. Player has bad experience with a level. It's not going to be top level made of whatever. So apparently I can go up here and get hurt. Because, whatever, I don't even know if I need the P-Switch or not, but this takes me to the secret exit and a moon. At least I get a moon out of it. Ugh. But yeah, I mean, granted, having one, one player have a bad experience does not necessarily make a level bad. But, obviously, if one uh, one player has a bad experience, more than likely, more than one player has had a bad experience. Also, that was very, very kind of dickish placement on those Hammer Bros. And I am not a fan of them, or blind jumps like that was. Uh, bop. Okay, you are Rotating McGee here. Bop. And I am just playing horribly. Not playing very good at all. I... You know, case in point, right there. <laughs> Not playing good. About this not playing good thing, I don't think I emphasized enough about the not play good I is doing um, because I is playing excellent good goodness at least this level is half over now it makes me I didn't zwee why did that not zwee um, it makes me question uh, why I didn't play this level in the last episode because I was like, ah, I don't have time to really do much, which is true, because it was technically, while I'm filming this, the uh, last episode was filmed on the same day, uh, I don't know, 18 hours ago, something like that. So if it was filmed at, or recorded, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, at 5.30 in the morning, and is now close to, I don't know, 9, it's 9.30 at night now, which shows like when I actually record, oh no, secrets, um, 5.30 in the morning, that is 12 hours, uh, that, yeah, so 12 hours, so 16 hours later, I am now <laughs> filming the next episode. I do a lot of stuff in a single day, and that's also with working a 12-hour day. God, that's kind of a lot of work. 
12 hours. You don't really think about it that you work for 12 hours a day until after it's all said and done. And then you realize just how much work you put in to stuff. Which, yeah. I mean, I personally, I put in a ton of effort into work. And finally, I have something that shows that effort off because I just got promoted, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah. Also, these are going super quickly for me, not the sprites. That is really weird. Yeah, I got promoted, which is pretty awesome. That is not... Well, it was something I was expecting because my manager actually kind of told me I was going to be promoted a couple months ago. But it is officially came out that I am getting... Well, uh, now, as of today, I am promoted. I do not like this situation I am in. So yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Uh, hard work actually pays off. Ooh. There we go. That one will be easier to dodge. And I'm going to be right back. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I don't fully remember what I was talking about. Also, that just happened. Okay. Okay, then. Um, you know, I am kind of curious. At the same time, I'm not super curious because it gives you a cape to come down here. Um, shoot. Okay, well, now I know what happens when you touch those things. Yeah, whatever. That, oh, boy. I guess that was worth it. Not really. Beware the green water is toxic. Do not touch them or you die. Huh. Okay. Well, I have a key now. I don't know what the key is going to be used for. But I do have a key. Which is kind of scary. Kinda not. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Cause I don't, I don't know where it's safe. I mean, really, I don't. Okay, what is in this box? Another feather. I will take it. Oh, this is going to be so much joy. Climbing this in between the lightning bolt. Uh, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Had annoying, but that's about it. Well, I don't have a key anymore. That is ridiculous. Really, I mean, utterly ridiculous. <sighs> I know it is supposed to be a hard hack. I do. And I I understand fudge. I understand wanting to make it hard. That's fine. But when you sacrifice enjoyability to make something hard, something's just not right about your decision. There is a way to make a hack hard, or a game hard in general, and still make it enjoyable. And unfortunately, this hack does not do it. Whenever it is hard, like harder than it really should be, it's no longer enjoyable. It becomes tedious and just flat out Annoying. Okay, so there are... So I have to go through this... thing. And somehow... make it out alive. Which I don't... I don't get how I'm going to do. So yeah. 
whenever this hack gets hard. Shoot. Eh, I don't like this part. Part is not good. Um, but yeah. When this hack gets hard, it is unfairly hard. Not fun in the slightest. And more or less just flat out annoying. I'd rather not play the super annoyingness that it creates. It's a very unfortunate thing that happens in this hack. Where you have an actually decently built game. But it suffers completely from the fact that you have parts that is just for the common player so ridiculous that they probably would not be able to do it. And even for a skilled player, it is on the side of just being so tedious you don't want to do it. And that's just, you know what, no, I, I'm done. I'm done playing fair with this level, just like the ghost house. I'm just done playing this level. That, that right there, the player should not feel that safe states are justified. Like, I, I use them. I won't even deny the fact that I use them. I use them a lot. Probably a lot more than I should, because if you're playing a game, you should know how to play a game without using them. Or, like, save scumming and quick saving continuously in modern games is using the quick save, quick load continuously. That's something, that's things that should be there, or you should learn to play without play without the quick save quick load functionality because that never really existed and it doesn't really increase you or uh, make you a better player by having that there it doesn't and so the player should not feel like they need to use save states rewinds whatever whatever you want to call them, whatever you have, to beat a level that is, honestly, in its core, not too terribly difficult, but has enough annoying stuff, like right here, where you have no idea where it's safe and where it's not safe. <sighs> eh. Just eh. So many design choices that you have to question. And again, hard yes. I still question how it got accepted again, because it's been accepted twice now. Um, once on... Ah, God. Ugh, once on the original... Uh, look at this. Look at this. This is so freaking ridiculous. Oh, but yeah, it's been accepted twice. Once initially, once on a uh, resubmission, bug fixes, whatever you want to call it. Which, I don't know. Sometimes, well, sometimes with the, the bug fixes, not saying they do, because I honestly talk, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Um... With bug fixes, I wonder if some exceptions have been made for specific hacks that were submitted before past moderation, and so they're not heavily scrutinized as they probably should be the second time around. Not saying that's the case, I'm very hoping that's not the case as well. Honestly, I don't do that, and I don't see any of the other hack mods doing that either. But it just makes me question how things like this slip through 
when there's so much questionable content within the game. And as I s have said, hard hack. It's supposed to be a harder hack. That's fine. And getting it's getting end gamey, which is, I mean, okay too. But the curveballs it throws at you compared to other levels is just ridiculous. Like this one, Sky Saw Zone. I played badly. I played horribly. But that level was not that hard. I was just playing bad. This level is completely on the other side. Granted, it is a castle, and castles should be harder. Nonetheless, this level was a cakewalk, comparatively. And that ghost house, though easy to get through, freaking annoying, and all that, with the surrounding levels. It's just the curve does not, it doesn't go in a curve, it goes in like waveforms. Anyway, I'm going to end it here before I just completely rip this thing apart. This has been Ninja Boy, and I will be back later with more Magical Crystals next time. See you guys then.